Zookeeper here again. So today I'm going to talk about the uh, initial setup of a uh, HACO FX888D electrostatic safe um, soldering gun. So I replaced my old um, Tandy gun with a uh, fancy new um, HACO, uh, widely recommended. I, I bought it from Adafruit. Um, they're an authorized reseller. So here we have the uh, cleaning sponge A1561 and that goes inside here we have another cleaning sponge this is an A1559 that guy goes in here and we're going to connect the end of the soldering gun to the machine and do the initial power on so we'll take this guy out of the package and we're going to open it from the back so we don't tear the number in case we need that for future reference I have read all the instructions and this machine is preset um, to approximately 750 degrees F. And it says you're supposed to put these guys in here. It doesn't really give you any specifics about where they go. And then uh, put that sponge in like that. And we got the wire. And this cleans the tip off. You can make these, but it comes with. So this guy looks like just a brass Brillo pad type thing, and you shove that guy in that hole right there, according to the instructions. Okay, so our holder's in place, and we'll take our wand, and that is an FX8801, 26 volts, 65 watt soldering iron handle and uh, here's where your tip goes I have a smaller tip for it but this tip is um, it's a chisel tip and it looks like it'll work just fine so we'll put this guy in here Hako does in their operators manual say that you should treat all the plastic parts um, as if they're conductive um, so I'm assuming they are and this guy has an index on it right here and the index goes to the top right there so we'll flip the switch on initial power up 750 it's heating up it actually tells you what temperature the irons at while you're using it and this is supposed to heat up in less than 30 seconds and it looks like it's going to be significantly less than 30 probably 15 or 20 I'm not counting but I'm just watching the counter come up here and we're going to be there in just a second look at that initial power on and that iron is hot so now we should tin it but I'm not going to use this tip I'm going to switch the other tip I'll show you how we do that and how we tin it in another video okay zookeeper out